there was this really amazing moment at, at the end here when we were looking over the rover one last time and, and making sure that, that what we were seeing was good for flight. It, it's that final moment you spend with the vehicle. That last sanity check, does everything look right? Is, is anything out of place? Is, is it really ready to fly? Because we're about to send uh, our baby on a, a very long journey to go uh, spend its life uh, exploring the surface of Mars. That's, that's uh, it's a big leap of faith to be able to hand off the vehicle. Uh, they have a great team uh, on the launch vehicle side, and they're they're ready to take care of it. But we are <laughs> we are definitely nervous parents. It's a very happy and sad day when you launch her. It's very much I equated to say having your daughter get married. Um, we basically brought her into existence, we powered her up, we spoke to her, and our team understands how she reacts, her emotions, um, her idiosyncrasies. She's been ours all along and now I'm going to hand her off to the next team and they'll get to run her. They've always been on deck waiting for us to get out of the way. Confirmation that we'll go for launch at this time. Go ahead and scrub. Interlink confirmed. As launch approaches, of course, the, the pressure does ratchet up and you start to worry, did we think of everything that could possibly go wrong? Do we have all of our procedures ready? There are a lot of what ifs and you, you question yourself and your team, are you ready to handle this? But ultimately, you know that you've been trained to do this and you are ready to do this and you've got a great team around you and a great spacecraft ready to go. And you ask if I'm nervous, the answer is absolutely I'm nervous. Uh, am I confident that she's going to go and she's going to be successful? Absolutely. It's going to go and she'll be good. The other day we closed the two hatches up on the, the, the Atlas and I was able to touch that. I was able to touch the, the rover when I disconnected the purge from the RAD system and that was kind of an emotional thing, you know. Almost turned around and walked away from it and QA was like, Dylan, Dylan, wait a minute! This is the last time you're going to be able to touch this thing and I'm like, I really, that's true. So I'm over there stroking it like a little puppy and had to walk away from it. And to realize that it's almost done and then it's ready to go. You're almost kind of disappointed it's over with, but you're ready to move on to something else. And I'm ready to crack that champagne open when that thing lights and goes. And then we got to wait till August of next year to see it do its business. And that's what it's all about. So yeah, it's a great feeling. There's this golden couple of weeks that happens just before launch, which is that um, we're really kind of done testing, we're, we're done encapsulating the vehicle, it's, it's now part of the launch vehicle provider's job to, um, to get it integrated and, and mounted on top of the rocket. And as far as the spacecraft goes, it's kind of quiescent. When you see what a rocket really does in practice, um, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing thing when it works. Uh, the launch team's really excited. So this is very difficult this morning. Launching something from the planet is really hard. Now you all, we make it look easy. It's not. Rocketry is still a um, less than perfect business. Um, failures do happen. You, you kind of have to make your peace with the notion. It's, it's like a suspension of disbelief. Um, meaning that in order to get through it, you have to believe that rocket launches can only go perfectly. The good news is almost always they really do, um, and, it's, and it's a really a thrill uh, when it's over.